Hey guys, this is Leo with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the brand new KW Command mobile app. Now, this just launched last week, and this is available on your iPhone and your Android devices, so I'll show you how you can go ahead and download this to your phone. And in this tip video, I'll be showing you how to add a contact or a lead to your command mobile app here, and that will also in turn add that to your command database on the desktop. All right, so this will allow you to be adding contacts and leads on the go directly to your command database. So first things first, we do wanna make sure we have this app downloaded. And to do that, we'll go on over to your App Store or your Google Play Store if you're an Android user. And you wanna search, all right, this is a search on the top of my screen here. It'll be kw colon command. All right, there are two KW apps. One is for your clients to be able to search homes, and then the second one is for the command backend or for a mobile view of command, and that's what we're looking at today. So KW colon command, and you'll see this is the app that you'll wanna use right here. All right, and it'll be a red logo with a, a K, white KW on it. So you can click on either download or open, whatever it might say right here. You can go ahead and click to go ahead and download that if you have not already. All right, and feel free to pause the video if you're working on downloading that. I am going to hop on over to the app itself now. So switching over to the app itself. So once it downloads you know, on your home screen, this is what it'll look like here. All right, so once you click on that command mobile app, it'll open that up. And to add a contact or a lead, we'll do so by clicking on the little contacts icon on the very bottom of your screen. All right, and these icons will reflect that does look the same as in the command desktop view. So hopefully that'll help out. So we'll click that contact icon and you will see all of your contacts right from here. You'll see at the top that you can search for your contacts. You can filter your contacts so that icon is a little filter icon on the top right here. That'll be the same icon as you see in command. So you can filter to search. You can sort your contacts, sort by last contacted, recently active, certain tags and so forth. And you can see at the bottom here, we would just press apply. And you can see, you can see those on the top as well. So you can change from all contacts to just leads recently active, and even view your smart views here at the bottom or at the end of this list. All right, so coming over to all contacts, we're gonna focus on adding a new contact. So this way, when you're on the go and you meet a new contact, you can instantly add them to your command database. So to do that, I'll click on add new on the very top right. And this should look very similar to what you, you're used to seeing in command when you're adding a new contact in one by one. All right, so a lot of the same information here. I'll go over the big parts that are really important for you to add in. And of course, you can look through this and add in the other information as we go along. Um, just a heads up, most of the contact information is available to be added here uh, that you're used to seeing in command. The main things that would not be available to be added on the mobile view would be you are not able to add neighborhoods or custom fields to the contact as you're adding it on the mobile version. All right, no biggie though, you can just go on the desktop version, so go on your computer later. And you can go to agent.kw.com to go ahead and continue adding the neighborhoods and or custom fields as needed. All right, this will just allow you to get this information in really quickly for the contact, and you can always go personalize it even further when you get back to your computer. So first thing at the top here, if you wanna mark this contact as a lead, you can turn on that toggle. All right, and that'll give it the TLL and mark it under leads only. Okay, so you can filter by leads only to pull this contact up. So we'll go ahead and put in the contacts name here. All right, so whatever the contact's name is. So I'll go ahead and put in Scott Leroy. All right, you can put in the phone number. And you can mark that whether it's personal, 
home, mobile, so forth. Put in their email. And you can also mark that as personal work or other. And then their address. Okay, and you can see you can also toggle if that's their home address and or so forth, any of the other categories. And these are all in the drop downs on the right hand side where you're seeing these arrows. So I can go through and add in all of this information, click same as mailing address if that applies here. Of course, if you're actually doing this with me, feel free to pause the video so you can do it on your end as well. But just to explain the other fields as well, so we have lead source, so you can select the type, right? We can select either from the list or from a contact. So if you got the lead from another contact or from a source, a lead source, you can leave that on list and you can go ahead and select where you got this. And these are, again, pretty much the same fields as you're used to seeing in the um, command desktop version. All right, some fields you see, you'll see on my screen, I'm on a team, so I'll have some extra team info. If you don't have that, like assignee and lead routing, that would just be for the team. So you can skip over anything like that. Tag, so you can tag your contacts right from here. Of course, that's important. So you can click add, remove tags from here to add any existing tags. Okay, this is important for you to know that you cannot add new tags at this time. And this is quite yet, I, again, this is on see December 6, 2021. As of right now, you cannot add new tags um, to apply to contacts, but you can apply any existing tags to contacts. So let's say I'll go ahead and add those tags and click save. And you can see those are added. You can put in their preferred contact method. So I'm just scrolling down past these, right? Because the email, if that's email or phone or physical address, their preferred method. And then we have the last section here at the bottom where we have about, so you can put in a description, birthday and home anniversary fields. Those are really important for smart plans because there are smart plans that you can set your contacts up on birthday or home anniversary smart plans to contact your, your contacts on those key dates, right? So it would be great if while you're adding your contacts in, you can work on adding their birthdays in or home anniversaries you know, as a part of your closing process there because that will allow for you to set up those smart plans that are great for retention. Scrolling on down, we can add a relationship here. So if there is a spouse or, you know, even a, you'll see there's a bunch of different relationship options here. Now, how command wants you to add your contacts to your database in command is two separate contact records. So if there is a husband and wife, instead of adding them as John and Jane Smith, adding John Smith as one contact and Jane Smith as a totally separate contact, and then linking them up from this relationship field here. So I would go ahead and select, let's say, that spouse from my list here to go ahead and add that relationship. Oh, sorry, it's not necessary. Um, so you can see that we just need to add it right here, but you can add a secondary relationship like I just did if you need to add, you know, the mother, father, etc. Lastly, you can add their social media links here at the bottom. These are all things you can come back and do as well, you know, on your command desktop if you want to add this in later. You know, the great thing about this is I can throw in the contact's name, email address, phone number, boom, they're in my database and I can always go back or have my assistant go back and further detail that information or add that as I receive it myself. All right, and lastly, we see the work and job title here on the bottom. So you can add that information in and click save. And it'll, I probably have, let's take out this phone number. All right, so once I click save on the very top, it will go ahead and save that contact. You can see it's marked as a lead up here. You can see I can actually email them. And if I had that phone number, which I can go back and add that in, but you can see at the very top, these icons here, if I have their phone number, it will allow me to click the phone and the text message icons to go ahead and immediately start calling this contact or texting that contact. I have an email, um, an envelope that would take me to email, right? So that's showing me to email. I have more information here so I can save the contact to my phone or share my KW app link right from here. So that's pretty cool. So again, I click to see these options. I clicked on the three dots right here. 
and you do that does give you the option to then save the contact to your phone which is great or share your mobile app link Right, and at the top here, I can see, of course, a lot of the information that I can see in the actual contact record and command as well, right? Their general details, which is what we entered in already, their timeline, smart plans are added to, any notes and tasks. All right, so that was just a quick overview on how to add your contacts to the command mobile app. And again, at this point, I could go back and forth between my command desktop database and my mobile app database to further work with this contact. If you have any questions on how this works, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, support at scottlaroymarketing.com. And I will put a link in the YouTube description below to the full overview of the command mobile app in case you'd like to see that. All right, guys, hope this helped. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.